On a last note, for the evaluation plan, the focus will be on delivering effective interventions for tracheostomy care on the floor. The questions that we need to answer are, what is the skill level of floor nurses with tracheostomy care? Are trainings and resources available? Will acuities change on regular floors to care for those with tracheostomies? Will teach back handoff be implemented and how can patients assist with their care? As for the indicators and evidence, for the first question, return demonstration and competency trainings will be used to answer the question. For the second question, the availability of qu quarterly trainings, educational modules, and access to policies and procedures at the bedside will be used. The third question can be tackled with the three to one ratio for nurses with tracheostomy patients on the floors, where staff and finances need to be available to create the change. With the fourth question, including suctioning, how to use an obturator and skin care and handoff will be useful. And with the last question, patients can help by also demonstrating understanding of their care. With timing of collecting data, service, surveys will be handed out before the interventions, six months of giving the intervention, and after a year with the reviewing of ICD-10 codes. The data collection will be available to the manager and a group of floor and ICU nurses. The surveys will be given through SurveyMonkey and placed on a spreadsheet that can be shown via graphs how the outcomes of the interventions are working or not.